Hello and welcome back to this FV432 build. We're now on to part 3. And so we're going to start working on the exterior. Um, we can be doing these little bits first and then putting these the storage boxes on the back. And then we're on to the running gear or the track system. Um, so yep, we're going to be moving on to this section, putting all this section together. And then when it comes to the tracks, I think I'm going to spray uh, prime them separately, which I might do for all the all the lower half. So they can be ready to spray. But we'll get to that bit later. Let's, uh, let's start with this bit, just sticking these little bits and pieces on. Which I've already pre-prepared. Now there is some H bits here, which are the clear bits. Obviously I'm not going to put them on until it's all finished and sprayed. So, we just move on to this box section in the back. It's now going to assemble another storage box. So I've already done one. Now I'm just going to assemble another one. Now I can attach these to the rear here. Okay, welcome back. Now I'm going to be working on the underneath, assembling the running gear and the suspension. Uh, so I've already pre-cut and I've already done one side as you can see. Also going to be using this, this little tool that comes with the kit. So as I've done one side I will now move on to the other side. I'll well, pre-cut all the bits. So let's start with putting these little bits together. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, attach these wheels, but before I do that, I'm going to spray. I'm going to prime them all while they're on the sprue, including the track, before I move on to the next stage. So, off to the spraying booth. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the wheels, putting the wheels together. Um, as you as you know, I've already sprayed them, 
I've already done one side, so that's just a case of getting on with the other side. See, I don't know if you can see, but there's actually little holes and the little nodules on this side. Okay, so now I'm painting the uh, the rubber on the uh, wheels. It's using a bit of black and black. Main I've already painted some. I only painted half of the wheel. It's Russian light -like green, but it doesn't matter because it's uh, just for the chipping. So yes, and using the trusty old pencil, you can go around the rims where, where a lot of the paint would come off. Get some of those bolts, etc. Okay, right, well, I'm going to carry on doing this. I won't bother recording it because uh, you see me do one. <laughs> Okay. Now I'm going to apply some uh, enamel track wash. Okay, welcome back. So now we're going to be doing the tracks. Um, I've already done one side. Uh, it didn't go too well, um, but you know I've never tried this this tool before. I've never done this before, so uh, yeah, it's come out all right. It's not perfect. There's a few bits that I've done wrong. Actually, it was quite difficult. I actually find resin and metal tracks better to do, um, but there is gaps. But I'm going to have this sitting in some mud, so I'll be able to fill. I'll be able to cover up the mistakes. And uh, it'll be on a little diorama, so yeah. That'd be interesting to show you how to cover up mistakes. But hopefully, I've still got the other side to do. So hopefully, I will do this side better because I've learned from my mistakes from doing this side. Um, so yeah. Let's crack on and do that. Also, I forgot to mention that I've done it so uh, I can take this off completely. So I can spray all underneath here separately. Um, 
yeah, that wasn't a uh, <laughs> easy thing to do. Uh, yeah, it does look pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> so yeah, so let's put that to one side. Now another thing I've uh, decided to do as well is uh, put one wheel on this side and the other on this side and uh, ease them open a bit, make the uh, holes a little bit bigger, wear them in a bit because uh, what I found on there was the holes were too tight, <coughs> pardon the expression. But, uh, they can easily be worked. Okay, first thing I do is uh, put on this top run. I've already cut the bits off and prepared them. Okay, I will cut off the other bits now while I make for that to try. Okay, so the next bit. And this is where I was hitting a snag. Now, if you can see, it doesn't quite. in there on the tool um, no matter how much I try So what I can do is glue that top bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these because they're in the way. Oh, I don't know what to do actually. Right, let's stop it. So yeah, I'm a bit undecided about this bit. I might cut these bits off. Um, what I might try and do is just fit the rest of the track. See how we go. So, uh, yeah.
to the, the same problem seems to be occurring this end as well that um, doesn't seem to want to line up properly of course if I put it that way it's going to pull that down Seems the tool, which is supposed to help me, is not really helping me. I mean, it's giving me a rough guideline, but it's not really helping. There's something wrong with it. <laughs> okay, right, so after tinkering around with it a bit, to the conclusion that this, this bottom bit here on the tool is completely wrong, uh, it's not lined up right on the tool because uh, I was getting the same problem when I was doing the other track when I was doing the other side that there was a gap and I ended up having to piss around a bit with the gap. That's um, what I'm going to do. Using the tool, I'm going to keep clips on here in a minute. I'm going to stick uh, this bit on. Oh, I've also, also, I've also put these together uh, to do painting. <laughs> All right. Okay, I managed to do it. Uh, I had to remove a track link, um, uh, which is there, which, which I could do. So for some reason, on one side I had too many track links, on the other side I didn't have that many. But it's just it is a gap. But I'm going to be as I'm going to be filling the other side. I mean that's on the bottom, so it's going to be muddy. I can fill that gap with mud, I reckon, and disguise it, which would be a good little video technique. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, not entirely pleased with the way the tracks have gone together on this kit. Um, all right, but they're there, they're on. <laughs> Right, I'll leave that to dry. Right, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. And there, I've completed the tracks now. Um, they didn't come out as well as I would have hoped to, that they would come out. They were quite difficult to put together. I don't know if I've done something wrong somewhere. Maybe it's because I sprayed it and it's done something to it. I don't know. <laughs> but. Um, they didn't seem to go together very well, um, but still went to bet together better than uh, resin tracks. Even though I've been alright with resin tracks in the past. Um, if I was to ever do this kit again, I would probably get the metal tracks. I like working with metal tracks; they do seem to go together a lot better. And uh, yeah, so yeah. Uh, join me next time I'll be working on the upper hole and uh, generally just finishing it off hopefully <laughs>